So this question is a diagram question. We have a dot plot. We have two 38s, a single 39, three dots at 40, two dots at 41, and one dot at 46. Each of these dots represents a data point. So the question says the dot plot shows the nine values of a data set with a mean value of A and a median value of B. So A is the mean, B is the median. The value of 46 is removed to create a new data set of eight values with a mean value of y and a median value of z. So I'm going to just write that down as well. So y becomes my mean and z becomes my median when I have, when I'll say when I remove 46, right? This is with 46. All right. Which statement best compares the mean values and the median values for the two data sets? Okay, so I am going to pay attention to the mean first because I think I can make a decision about the mean without really doing a lot of math here. So I understand that in order to find the mean, I need to add up all the data points, right? So for A, I add 38 plus 38 plus 39, right? All of these data points and then divide by nine. That's going to get me some value. Now, what would I expect to happen when I'm solving for y and I'm adding up all these same data points here, but I'm removing 46, right? I'm removing this larger number and then dividing by 8. My expectation would be that the value that I find for the mean from a is greater than the value that I find for the mean from y. That is my expectation. Now, when I go along with that hunch, I only see one answer choice that fits that, and that's choice D. And I'm pleased to see that because, you know, I would have answered this question if I were not explaining it for a video. I would have gotten to this point probably within the first 15 seconds or so. So if I'm uncertain, I have a bunch of time now to go back to my calculator and just see, you know, am I correct about my assumption here? So I'm going to actually figure out what A is. And I'm going to figure out what Y is, just to make sure that I'm right, that A is, in fact, greater than Y. So, again, the way we find the means by adding up all the data points, I'm in my calculator right now. I'm adding up 38 plus 38. That takes care of the first column. Uh, plus 39 plus 40 plus 40 plus 40, right? Because I have three 40s right here. And then plus 41 plus 41 to take care of those two 41s. And plus 46, I'm getting 363. And then, of course, I have to divide by 9 to get my mean. So divided by 9, that gets me to 40.3 with a bar over it. And for my y value, I do the exact same thing, except I'm not going to have this 46 involved. So I could just do 363, to 363 minus 46, which is 317. Divide that by 8, right? Because now I only have 8 terms. And what I'm getting here is 39.625. So that proves that A is in fact greater than Y. And again, because choice D is the only answer choice that says A is greater than Y, choice D must be the correct answer.